Hey, welcome to 30 and 5. I'm your congenial host, Mike North. Not too much news to talk about today because we got, hey, big time sports happenings in this city, Chicago, and around uh, the country. But uh, let's talk about the correspondence dinner in Washington, D.C. Uh, I heard President Obama uh, was great. I heard he fell flat on his face. I guess it depends what uh, aisle you're from. Uh, he took some shots at Mitt Romney. Here's what I do know. He's made more campaign stops in his first term than all the other presidents since Jimmy Carter combined. Combined. So he's been campaigning since he got inaugurated, all right? Now, bottom line is, is it going to pan out? I don't know. But he took some shots at Romney at this dinner last night. Uh, and, and you know what? It's all good-natured. There were some zingers, though. And even Jimmy Kimmel, by the way, Jimmy Kimmel was firing. He goes, remember your first term? Remember change? I mean, it, it, they fire on each other. It's really a roast that they call a correspondence center. But don't tell me people don't walk away with, like, hurt feelings. Believe me, they do. They walk away with hurt feelings. Now, the news here in Chicago and, you know, the news around the National Basketball Association. Derek Rose uh, ends up getting hurt for about the sixth time this year. Here's what I've come to the conclusion of. Number one, he's brittle. Okay, he is brittle. He's in his third year. Number two, he worked out so hard during the offseason. Now look at the guys that worked out hard. Chauncey Billups, Chris Paul, he's got a bad groin. Uh, Kevin Love, he's out, but he's out with the concussion symptoms. Derek Rose, all these guys. But here's another connection, and I bet you didn't know about this, my friend. This is what I do. Most of the guys hurt wear Adidas. Dwight Howard, Adidas. Derrick Rose, Adidas. Gordon from New Orleans, Eric Gordon, Adidas. Most of the guys that got hurt major this year wear Adidas. And I played a cut last night on my Fox radio show where Kobe Bryant, some kid walks up to him at a camp in 2010. He's got D. Rose shoes on. And, and, and Kobe Bryant says, you want to break your ankles, wear those. Then LeBron's guy from Nike. Now, I know it's unfair to say LeBron's guy, but the guy from Nike goes, poor Poo or something to that, but that's, to, to that effect, that's his name. Poor Poo should have taken our shoe. I guess it's like a hip-hop thing between now the athletes. Who's wearing Adidas? Who's wearing Nikes? But if you're Nike, you're paying White Howard $200 million some dollars. You're paying Derrick Rose $250 million. That's $450 million of useless basketball players. Not playing. Think about that, folks. Think about that. As far as the Bulls are concerned, we got to quit telling them they can't do it. We got to quit telling them they can't do it. I don't think they can do it. But, but we got to give them their support, at least out in public, because I think they can do it. But that's not the point. Corver, all the guys around the league uh, uh, tweeted about D Rose. Uh, everybody's sad about it, or almost everybody. If you're Miami, you're not sad. If you're Philadelphia, you're not sad. And by the way, uh, the NBA playoffs are about as good as it gets. If you watched the Clipper game last night, you missed, or if you didn't watch it, you missed a great game. Chris Paul begging to get in with nine minutes left. They're down like 25 points. They win. They win. Memphis, forget about it. How does Memphis bounce back by being up 27 going into the fourth quarter? How do you bounce back? There was a 42-18 to 18 spurt. They got to be in shock. How do they bounce back? Now, I heard Rick Campbell from the NBA uh, television say, hey, guess what? They're going to bounce back. Really? That's a devastating, devastating, devastating loss. San Antonio looks good. Utah looks young. Some great games yesterday. Some good basketball games yesterday. The biggest surprise of the day, the Atlanta Hawk. The Atlanta Hawk knocking off the Boston Celtic. That is uh, a, a, a big, big win for them. Ray Allen didn't play. There's a lot of offense out. Uh, but clearly, the game of the night was the L.A. Clipper game. Now, today it's going to be beautiful outside. A little overcast, but you know what? April flowers bring May, sh uh, May showers. I heard that somewhere along the line. I'm just uh, telling you the truth. You've been listening to the 30 and 5 here on 560 WIND.com. I'm Mike North. 
Flood Brothers Disposal and uh, Recycling Services are professional waste haulers. Now, the Flood family is big on service. It's our number one priority, and we offer extremely competitive pricing because the Flood family is here to help you in this tough economy. Remember, at Flood Brothers, we build relationships, and the only thing we're big on is service. Call us at 773-626-5800 or floodbrothersdisposal.com.